All right, everybody. I'm joined once again by the Pantsu Party. Yo, yo, yo. Because I think you've seen a significant number of Kyoto Animation shows. Yeah, I'd say I'd probably so you, you, seen half of the shows on the list. Excellent. You'll be able to help me with this one. Um, so, yeah, we're doing it. Fucking, I'm only going to probably have the five categories. I don't usually need six when it comes to just the studio's work. Um, first one being Air. I don't think you've seen Air. No, um, sir. I haven't seen it in a long time, so I'm just going to slot it at a B. Remember it being pretty okay. Amagi Brilliant Park. Did you watch any of this? No. I made it like halfway through. I didn't like it. There are certain really? people who really like this show for some reason. Some people think that this is like one of the better KyoAni shows, but I, I, I don't see why. Cough, cough, frog coon. Cough, cough. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh... Which, okay, so this is the first season of Chunibyo, right? Yeah, that's, is that the movie? And this is the second season, and this is the movie, I think. Oh. So I've never seen the whole first season. Um, what would I'd you rank I'd probably it? give it a B. Okay. It was okay. a pretty fun shirt. Did you watch the second season? I, did I watch all of it? I had heard a lot of people who, who liked the first season didn't like the second one as much. I don't know why. I watched the first episode of it and thought it was pretty enjoyable. I don't but... think I've seen the second season. All right, we'll just mark it as haven't seen. We the did movie try... is not good. Yeah, we tried to watch this movie. We were like, ah. Uh... And granted, you know, obviously with neither of us having seen the second season, it didn't seem like that was all that relevant. The movie kind of spins the first, like, 20 minutes just kind of reintroducing you to all the characters and basically just fan service of their their central memes if you will um but it was just kind of obnoxious uh probably would put it in d tier since we couldn't even finish it Indeed. and it's just a movie this looks like it's clanad after i think this is clanad one and this is clanad two i would put uh clanad at c tier don't care f for it very much after story i haven't finished I'm going to just run a market as haven't seen so I don't fucking infuriate everybody again. Um, the Haruhi movie. The movie. Oh, my God. I loved it. I would put it at A tier, but I would be willing to put it at S tier if you I feel it belongs there. I haven't seen it there. in a while. It's been I, over a decade for me, yeah, I think. Yeah, it's been like probably five years for it's me. It's been since I'd it came out. Put it at A. All right. Um, Hebe K. Euphonium, I don't think you've seen. I enjoyed the first season quite a bit. I would put it at an A. It did have some issues, um, but, you know, I, I overall was, was very happy with it. The second season I fucking tried, and I just totally lost interest. And part of that was that I think I had had some misconceptions about the first season. I made a couple videos about it, about my realization that it was never actually gay. Um, that pissed me off a whole lot. And just the second season was just really boring and it was just going even more in on the melodrama, which was, I thought, the worst part of the first season. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and mark it as a C. Um, I still have not watched their season. Well, this isn't Fumofu, right? No. This is Full Metal Panic Season 2, the second raid. I uh, only ever saw the first episode. It was great, but I didn't continue it. Um, this is just a bunch of free. There's like five fucking frees in here. Oh, boy. Like, three seasons of the show and two movies. I mean, I watched, like, three episodes of the original show and just was like, well, this obviously isn't made for me, so I'm not getting anything out of this. Have you watched any of Free? No. All right, we're just going to put it all in Haven't Seen, man. No. So much fucking Free. Full Metal Panic Fumofu, I'm giving an A. It's a really funny show from what my memory tells me after, like, 13 years. <laughs> all right, so... Okay, d d d distinguishing the Haruhis is going to be a little bit difficult here. Because um, I'm looking through, I don't see anything that's obviously season one. Like, this looks like it would be season two, right? right? that's what I thought. Um, we already have the movie, and then this is Haruhi-chan, which I never saw. And I don't think you did either. No. Um, yeah, I don't see it distinguished as two different seasons. So I guess this is just Haruhi. Um... For me, probably A tier. What would you say? I'd also probably say A tier. Yeah, not S tier. 
Yeah, it's not right. one of my favorite animes, but mm. I really like it. Yeah, oh, I know you you like Haruhi as a character a whole lot. I love lot, Haruhi. As I do as well. Uh, Hyoka. And Khan. This is another That's one great. that a lot of people say is the best Kyoto animation show. I found it really boring and totally uninteresting. I don't care for it. It does look amazing. The visuals are fucking insane. But the, Girls are really cute. the show is just fucking people sitting around talking about boring shit. Um, I like to admire it from afar. I would. Are you sure you're thinking of Hyoka and not Kyokai no Kanata? I don't know. Because that one has the really cute. The pink haired girl is in Kyokai no Kanata. Oh, that is what I'm thinking of. Yeah, Hyoka was, uh, was a little before that. Um, Fuck. <laughs> I'm putting it in C tier. My bad. Uh, canon. I, I enjoyed it plenty at the time. It was uh, one of. Canon and Air were both, like, favorites of mine at the time. Um, but over the years revisiting Canon, I was like, well, this is pretty fucking trite and stupid. So it uh, probably doesn't really go above. S- well, I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's any worse than Air or Chunibio, but uh, we'll just put it in C tier where it probably belongs. Um, these are both. Ky- this is like the Kyokai no Kanata show and movie, I think. Um, I dropped Kyokai no Kanata for the same reasons as Hyoka. Looks amazing. Totally boring and uninteresting to me. Did not like any of the characters. Did nothing for me. So I'm putting that shit in C tier and I haven't seen the movie. I'll just assume that those are the... Which one is which? F for fap for me. Oh, fucking F for fap. Yeah. (laughs) Dragon Maid. I will put in S tier. Hell Yeah. (laughs) One of my faves, one of my faves, I like it a whole lot. I like it more than I probably should, Same but that's though. okay. Same, Um, K-On, all of it's going in S tier. I fucking adore K-On, you all know why, you've all heard tell, you've, I, you've heard the stories. Liz and the Foo Fighters. Liz, <laughs> Liz and the Foo Fighters? Why? <laughs> um, I don't know. A B, I guess? Like, I didn't hate it. I just was not interested. Yeah. I don't know. Would you say it's a B or a C? Would, uh, personally, I would give it a C. All right. Well, if you're willing to go... Because I thought you liked it more than I did. You were, like, more forgiving. In our yeah, I thought it was fine. It, uh, it's a pretty movie. It's. I really didn't like it, though. No, I didn't either. <laughs> this is going to be a very controversial oh, no. fucking list. Uh, but... All right. Is this but that might be Star? because I haven't seen any EPK. I mean, that's fair. That is fair to say. They're that's... not character. I mean, I know they're like side-ish characters, but like, I don't know. I don't know, dog. I didn't get any feels from it. No. Um. All right, Lucky Star. And now, like, this is the part where I've thrown Liz and the Bluebird and Hyoka and Hibi Euphonium Season 2, and Kyokai no Kanata, and Clanad all into the C tier. And meanwhile, lucky fucking star, I am putting straight up, well, yeah, I'm putting it in S tier. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I love lucky when star. When I was like 15, I tried to watch lucky star, and I couldn't get through the first episode. Look, let me tell you, when lucky star was on TV, I dropped it 12 episodes in. When I when I later wa- marathoned it with my friend for the first time, I gave it a six, and then we watched it another time, and it was the most fun I had ever had. And then I watched some of it in the Philippines, getting drunk with my friends. It was the most fun I'd ever had. So look, I'm just saying, I understand why people might not like Lucky Star. It really has to be watched in the right context. You really got to be in the right state of mind with the right people the right environment you need to be boozed up dog alcohol helps <laughs> as does Mountain Dew because the time that me and my friend watched it the second time we did it with is there a mixed drink with Mountain Dew in it uh probably not I mean nothing would be good you don't want to dilute Mountain Dew it tastes like shit like I've never managed to mix anything with it and make it taste good and I've tried comment your Mountain Dew mixed drinks folks Anyway, I know I... <laughs> we'll I t- make a tier list I of Mountain Dew story drinks. In my video about Lucky Star, Why Context Matters, I talk about the time me and my friend watched it with, uh, with like, a guide to all the references. But also on top of that was the fact that I my parents had banned us from drinking Mountain Dew um, for, like, three months. 
And then they went out of town for like a week and left us with a bunch of money for groceries. And you spent it all on Mountain Dew. Just went and Mountain bought like Dew. literally 12 bottles of Mountain Dew. Um, obviously that wasn't all the money, but you know. Uh, Moonto, I've never seen. Um, I can't even fucking tell what the hell this is. Uh, I think it's just the other version of Moonto because it was both an OVA and a TV series. Um... Nietzsche Joe, I haven't fin- seen all of it, but it is quite good. I think it belongs probably in the A tier. It's funny. Mirror Colors Phantom World is dog shit. D tier. D is bad nuts show. for me. <laughs> bad meme. Koe no Katachi. We saw this in theaters together. I think I'd probably. I mean, here's the funny thing about this because, like, this list is very skewed, and I'm, I'm going to say this. Uh, in some of the lists that we've done, it's been like. Anything below a certain point is like a, a five, right? On this list, the B category are shows that I still think are pretty good. Yeah, they're probably like eights, like seven and eights. Probably like six or a seven for these two. But at the same time, like, because I, I, I gave Koi no Katachi an eight. I don't feel nearly as strongly about it as I do the Haruhi movie or Hibike Euphonium, to be honest. So it's really difficult for me to decide if I want to put it... I feel like I might need to add another tier... No. ...in between these two. No. Just so I can... Well, okay, then should we put it in A or B? B. All right, but do you really think it's only as good as the fucking... This do you thing? think it's as good as Haruhi? No, but I'm saying that it d- belongs between these two. Like, it's definitely better than Chunibyo. So? And Air... I haven't seen Air. I don't. Well, I can't say for okay. sure. I would personally give it a B. You can give it an A, or you can add another. I wouldn't tier. give it an A. I would add another tier. Then in move between, the shit though. and B down. Because if I were to, well, here's the thing. If I were to, because I don't think you need another tier. Because if I were to make a tier here, I would put this here, and then I would also move Nietzsche Joe and Full Metal Panic down, and maybe even this, and then make this. This would all be below this because this isn't Just quite. Just make a... S double A. And then I feel more comfortable a. putting Lucky Star down there, and now I feel like I'm okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay, make it double A and A. All right, all right, double A. Because this is Kyoani we're talking about. Yeah, Kyoani is a step above. You know. <laughs> um. All right. So uh, now I feel more comfortable. See, and now I can put. Now I feel comfortable putting Tamako Market in here as well because I think I like Tamako Market more than I, I definitely like it more than these, but I don't you think I like it as much as these. Well, I've seen a little bit of it. I just didn't really yeah. feel much drive to continue it. Um, I the, don't know the Tamako Market movie. I would then put in B. Um, I don't I... like it as much as the show. This is the Surune. We watched like three episodes of this. I think maybe only two. We watched three episodes. Yeah, what did you? What, where would you rank Sudanay? Do it you was, think we watched enough boring. to rank it? Yeah, yeah I think it was pretty boring. I think, think I'd give it a, a D or a C because it's like a bad free. Yeah, let's go for it. Violet Evergarden. We watched two or three episodes of this. I thought it was insufferable. I I'm really it was sorry. Like I, boring. I want to understand why people like the show. I should read more about why people like the show. Like I get I that mean, there's look. That the if the fact like... of the matter is that there's just different tastes out no, there, okay? I know. It's like every time there's a show that I don't like that I didn't finish, I have reasons I didn't like it, you have reasons you liked it, they can exist at the same time. People can just come away from something feeling differently I, from each other. I completely you know? agree. I would probably, there's plenty of shit know, I like that people give this an F for don't. Fap. As long as as long as the rest of the world is going to be like, "Uh, you liked tiramisu?" then I'd have no fucking qualms about <laughs> shitting on anything they like. Uh so yeah, I would put it in. Where are you going to put it? D tier? F for fab. F for fab. Is that haven't seen? No, it's D. Okay. It's a D is nuts. I wouldn't even fap to that show though. The girls are not like sexually attractive. They're not supposed to be. I don't think so. Um I think it's a show for chicks. Okay. You know? I feel pretty good about this. Uh, yeah, after adding these extra letters, I feel pretty good about it. I feel um, I feel my tastes have been represented, is what I mean to say. Was Sirene really as offensive, though, as Myriad Colors fan? I don't think world? so. 
I mean, neither was fucking Violet Evergarden. Like, me but I colors. liked it. You know, I liked uh, Liz and the Bluebird way more than um, than Sue Renee. Yeah. Um, Should Liz and well, the Bluebird go up to B? Yeah. Then? Now that we have a B tier, I think it's yeah. Fair to that put makes that there. more sense. Though I don't think I liked it as much as this or this. So I don't know. This is a difficult one. Well, it has a blue. This, the thing about Kyoto maybe. Animation is that even when you That's hate one of their movie. shows, they're fucking beautiful. Yeah, it's like, I mean, you're ranking them alongside of other Kyoto Animation. Right, shows. it's a huge difference between, like, hating one of these shows and hating something that, like, also, like, if I put something in D tier for Kyo Ani, it's, I'm not comparing it to fucking, uh, what was that one that the We Have Accepted Mediocrity was based around? Oh, God. That fucking Silver League show that oh, looked no. like dick. Um, you know, it's. I'm not saying it's on the level of that. If what, we had what was more that strata, show called? It was like a bad isekai, there's, right? Yeah, it was fucking terrible. There's a reason that I have normally a 10 scale, so I can have more nuance. But, like, you know, if it's in the realm of Kill to Animation shows, they all look amazing. So they're just competing on script. And if I don't like the script, it's going in D tier, you know? Um, Wear it up. Anyway. You want to do MAPPA 2? Sure. There's only a few of these boys. Uh, Kake Gurui. I only saw the first episode, but it repulsed me <laughs> in every way. I would probably put it in D. Um, I think this is Bahamut. It's the one we saw, right? Yeah, that's the Bahamut that we watched. Um, we made it, like, what? Was it only four episodes? No, we must have made it more than that, we right? We watched, like, half of it, right? Well, I think it went for 26 episodes, oh, so I think we watched half the first season. Maybe, like, five or six It started episodes. off really strong, mm -hmm. and then it just immediately got, like, totally fucking worthless. I don't know. C tier? Um, I don't Could even... Could you even put that in C tier? I mean... I feel like if you were to watch the entire show, there would be enjoyable moments throughout... Like, C tier is not a good ranking on a list with six, you know? At this I point, it's know. like, anything C or below is something I would drop, you know? I would put it in D. All right, fair enough. Um, did not watch this idol thing. Still haven't seen the movie. Um, Kono. Yuri on Rice. Yuri on Rice, I enjoyed a lot. I would give it an A. Sounds good, dog. Um, I think I gave it my number two of the year or three of the year. Yeah, I think so. I think in 2016. You did you watch Yuri on Rice? Watched half of it. What did you think? I, I mean, I watched, you watched the, the better the half. Better half. Yeah. I liked it. All right. It was pretty delicious. Uh, this thing, I think we tried to watch this and dropped it after like the is first episode. Is that a episode. soccer show? What is that? Yeah, it was that soccer show with the blonde kid. Oh, I don't remember anything about no, it. We dropped I'd it in it one an episode. F. Yeah, <laughs> uh, fuck it. Garo, Garo. I fucking. I think I tried both different incarnations of Garo and gave up after the first episode. So I'm just gonna mark him as not seen. Same goes for this show. Um, I don't even recognize this one. What the hell is this thing? Katsu to Kanri Data. Kimono Tachie? I love Katsudon. Never heard of it. Um, punchline, I only saw the first episode. I I had dropped it, but I it became interested in it again. Because it was kind yeah. of interesting. Um, I just remember seeing the Crunchyroll ads for it. Because Crunchyroll shelled the fuck out of this show. I'd be willing to try it again. But we'll put it as not seen. Uh, the original Shingeki no Bahamut. I guess I'll put this one in C. Uh, the first four episodes of it are fantastic, and I would honestly recommend watching them and just pretend it's one of those 90s fantasy OVAs <laughs> that only had four episodes and then doesn't have any conclusion, because the rest of the show is pretty bad. But um, nonetheless, those first four episodes are great. Uh, this I dropped early. Zanko no Terror, I forgot this was a MAPPA show. Studio uh, MAPPA. F. It sucked. It starts off strong. The The first episode is really great. And I think I just kind of convinced myself because <laughs> the first episode was so great that episodes two and three were good too. But like by episode three, I was starting to have that feeling of like, uh-oh, this kind of is starting to suck. And then uh, by the end of the season, everybody who I knew who was watching it was like, yeah, that show completely went to trash. So then I finished it and I was like, wow, this show completely wow, went to trash. They were right. Uh, take you. There's there's three take-yous listed here. 
out of the nine that exist, actually, some of these might be the weird spinoff take yous. Oh. But they all look like just take you, though. Yeah, I mean, they seem um, just like take you to me. Didn't we watch all of it? No, we didn't watch all of it. We watched, like, a couple random seasons. Yeah. Because there's nine seasons. I guess we didn't watch all of it, but, like, you oh. can go through a season, like, really easy. Um, we'll just put them all in B. Yeah, I feel good. like B is just the take you tier. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sakamichi no Apollon, I still haven't seen past the first two episodes. I should. I know a lot of people think it's great. Uh, Sarazanmai, is that Mappa? Yeah. Is that Mappa? Yeah. Oh, God, I hope they don't fuck it up. Um, well, based on the first episode alone, which is the only one we've seen, uh, S tier, it was one of the best first episodes I've incredible. ever seen. It, it was incredible. It was fucking incredible. lit. Uh, we've still only seen the first two Dororos, so I don't really think we should rate that Seeming yet. Seeming to notice a pattern that, um, all MAPPA shows have, like, great first episodes. Yes, well, that was what, that was why WADA wanted us to talk about it. I mean, it says here... Studio Mappa Anime. Anime by the terrible Studio Mappa who make <laughs> anime that always look really interesting and fun, but then they always fuck them up with bad writing or bad production, making them much more evil a studio than A1 Pictures, who only make shit that looks like shit. Mappa makes good things that still come out shit 90% of the time. Wait, did, did Wada write this? Yes, Wada write, wrote this. <laughs> and I have to say that the reason oh I God. hate A1 Pictures in the first place is the same reason, though, because a lot of their shows do start <laughs> off good, and then they go to shit. That was what originally made me hate A1, was that, like, I would get tricked into shows like <laughs> Not in Us Buried Treasure or something where the first few episodes are pretty good and then the rest of it's cool. fucking dog shit. Um, and then, like, I just kind of noticed a pattern that, like, hey, all these A1 Pictures shows seem to have the same thing happen, you know? Um, and MAPPA, yeah, they definitely have had the same exact issue. I think this is season two of Kakegurui. I haven't seen it. Zombieland, Zombieland Saga. Saga. Give it a B. Yeah. It's pretty uneven. It's, it's also take you. Uh, Banana Fist gets an F. <laughs> Fucking Banana Fist. I don't Fist. know why Reddit likes this show so much because it is well, bad. Well, because it's gay. And they're is on that Reddit. why? Like, they don't even really care about gay shit on Reddit that much, do they? No, it's because they, they themselves are gay. They themselves are gay? All right. Well, I did not watch Inuyashiki. Um, Where is Death Parade? Uh, that was by Madhouse. Fuck, you're right. This seems to be another Garo and um, Shokuku, Shokoku no Altair. I think we watched the first episode of that and dropped it. That was the one that was like the oh, Arabic-themed yeah. one, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Well, obviously, we haven't really given oh, much, that much. I mean, most of these I've seen the first episode of and just dropped them right away. So I would say MAPPA has not had a great track record with me. Um... But, you know, they've occasionally... I mean, I hope Sara's on my is good. That's all oh, I can no, say. no, I'm scared now. I hope it's good. Now uh, that I've seen the numbers laid out before <laughs> me, yeah, I'm like, well, fuck. Um, this is the Sword Art Online characters tier maker. Oh, this is great. This There's is not great. nearly enough characters in here. There needs to be a lot more because I've watched all this shit. I know who the fuck these characters are. Um... All right, let's go for it. So, okay, I don't think I can put anyone in S or even A tier on this, right? Like, no. I think the best character is Asuna, who is at best a B tier character. Um, Leafy is here, is the first one. Okay, as Leafy, she sucks. As Kirito's sister, she's really hot. So I'm going to give her C tier just because of how fucking hot Suguha is. I agree. I've looked at a lot of nasty pictures of Suguha. She's great. Um, Kirito is D tier. <laughs> Shinon is D tier. Uh, this guy is just kind of an exposition character, but he's black, so I'm putting him in C tier. You should put him in B tier because he's black. That's funny, but he's not as good as Asuna. Um, this fucking AIDS girl... She has AIDS. Uh, Spoiler! <laughs> uh, blonde Kirito, Kirito, definitely D tier. Where's Fat Kirito? Klein, D tier. Lizbeth, D tier. Silica, D tier. Uh, Yui it gets B tier up there with fucking you Asuna. Give her B tier? I, I like Yui, okay? Get off my case. She's a little fairy daughter <laughs> 
I like her. Oh boy. All right. I agree with <laughs> everything except for you. You should be C tier, and the black guy should be B tier. Yeah, you would switch them and around. Silica should be C tier. Yeah, you think, you think she Silica? is better than She's fucking the rest. awful. All she does is get tentacle raved. I love tentacle raved. Yeah, but she's not even hot. She's not even cute. Whoa. Silica is Whoa. not cute. The only she's girl She's better than Blizz bitch. The only girl worth masturbating to in Sword Art Online is What about Suzuha. the blonde girl from Suguha. Well, yeah, I agree. What about the blonde girl from uh from Asylization? No. Assholization. I literally don't think any of them are hot except for Suguha. I think they're all like, like Shinon. Like they always focus on her ass, but she has no. No, ass. she's not good at what all. What the fuck is the point? She also has a really terrible personality. She's yes, not wife She material. is boring as shit. Asuna's fairly hot. Uh, she's just kind of standard. Her tits she's are. She's just a generic huge. light novel of love interest. Yeah, she's. Uh, she's what do you not mean? <laughs> um. Yeah, Sugu has the only fuckable one. All right. I think that's it. Unless you want me to go find another tier maker for us to do. Are you having fun? Do you want to do another one? Let's do one more. All right. All right. All right. Let me open up my Discord. It should be in st streamer mode, right? Yes. Okay. All right, Wada. You got to you gotta hit me with another one. We've got... We've already done Anime I Scored a 6 and Mappa and Sword Art Online. He's got a Kanahanazawa all rolls tier list. I don't think either of us could even <laughs> do that one. That's too many fucking... Hanakana's in fucking everything. Oh, there's a Ghibli. I guess we can do that. I haven't seen all the Ghiblis. You've seen most of the Ghiblis. I haven't seen every single one. Um, They're almost all... I mean, I don't even think the F or D tier is going to be necessary. I don't even know if the C tier is going to be necessary on this list. Yeah, but they're Ghiblis. you got to rank them yeah, as but they're, Ghiblis. Like, they're almost all equally amazing. Like... All right, first of all, right off the bat, I know we're both going to put My Neighbor Totoro in S tier, Oh, right? My Neighbor Totoro is the best film that's ever been made. So we're going to put that in S tier, Literally. and we'll judge everything else off of that. So um, next, we've got we've got Kurenai no Buta, or the Porco Rosso. Porco Rosso. I wanted to call it The Pig Returns. Uh, <laughs> the pig Porco returns. Rosso, I think... <laughs> This is going to be so fucking difficult to figure out whether something is an A or a B. Um, a tier. A tier? All right. We're going right to A tier. Um, this one is... Uh, I don't think I've seen this is one. Is this The Cat Returns? Kokuriko something, yo. I don't even know which one it is. So I'm not going to rank it. Ocean Breeze. It's not Ocean Waves. This is Ocean, ocean Breeze. Waves. Fun Park. Um, Castle in the Sky. B tier? Yeah. B tier. Um, fucking The, the Wind, Wind Rises, Rises S tier. Yeah, Absolutely. Fucking godly. Um, oh, boy. Some of these like are so cut off. I can't tell what the fuck they are. I see a, a girl... I see a fembot. Put that over there with ones I don't think I've seen. Um, I have seen Ocean Waves, but it's been such a fucking eternity that I don't know how to rate it. Um, I'm just going off of... I mean, I loved this movie when I saw it. I gave it a 10 at the time. It was the first Ghibli movie I gave a 10. Damn. At the time. Damn. Because I didn't used to like Ghibli movies back when I was younger. You didn't even like Spirited Away? No. I had seen it twice and didn't really get it. Um... I'm just going to not rate it for now. When Marnie was there, I would give a B. I don't think you've seen it. Um, nope. What is this fucking one? Like, this one doesn't even... Is this a... Uh, it might be Earthsea or something. I can't oh, tell. Oh, it probably is. Uh, Grave of the Fireflies. Uh, would I put this in A or B tier? I would personally put it in A tier, but I know I liked right. it more I, than you. I think it's fair. I mean, I like it a lot. I just think... It's more interesting than it is enjoyable, but, I mean, that's not a problem, really. Uh, Howl's Moving Castle, you haven't seen it. I'd put it in B tier. Um, Borrower's Arietti, I would put in A tier. What do you think? Yeah, -tier? I like Arietti. 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 Uh, Kiki's Delivery Service. A tier. Yep. Uh, Whisper of the Heart, we still haven't seen. 
Only yesterday, I would probably... I don't know, probably B tier, right? Maybe A tier? Uh, I'd put it in B tier. Yeah. I put it me personally would put it in B tier. I think that's Although fair. I did like it a whole lot. There's a lot to like about it, but I don't know if it compares to these ones. Um Pork uh Pom Poco. Pom Poco is A Yeah, definitely I love Pom at Poco. least A, if not S tier. I mean the only I've only seen this movie once and I was very fucking high on drugs and uh it was like utterly mind-blowing in that state i'd have to see it again to decide if i still think that i like it as much as i did when i was on the drug um what the fuck is this shit with this bird is this my neighbor the yamadas i haven't seen it oh uh ponyo is absolutely s tier agreed um the tale of princess kaguya i don't think you've seen it i've only seen it once i'd put it at b tier for now it is coming to theaters though yes we're gonna have to go see that uh, Mononoke Hime, S tier. S tier. Absolutely. Spirited Away, S tier. S tier. Absolutely. Nasuka of the Valley of the Wind, Ooh, high A tier. A tier. Um, you still haven't read the manga, which we always bring up. That uh, I think if you had read it, you would be uh, unable to find the movie quite as good as you want to. <laughs> um, all right, so oh the God. rest of these. So I think these two. Okay, let me try to figure out what even. So one of these has to be The Cat Returns. One of them has to be that one movie that Goro Miyazaki did with Hayao Miyazaki. This one must be Tales of the Earth Sea, My Neighbor the Yamada's Whisper of the Heart, and I have seen Ocean Waves, but not in a very long time. So all of these are the Ghiblis we still have to watch. That's too many Ghiblis. That's really sad. It's too many Ghiblis we haven't seen. Um, well, still though, I mean, what, what, why even include a bottom half? on a Ghibli tier list. Why even fucking bother? It had no purpose. Alright, that all? Yep. Alright, all that's left for me to do is this favorite anime director's tier list at some point. Jesus Christ. A lot of these are repeated. It's yeah. not re- It's not truly as giant as it looks, but it is hilarious to look at. Is Hiroshi Hirata on here? I don't know. No, he's probably I don't not. Know he's what he only looks directed... Like. Uh, is this him? No. Uh... Uh, uh, hold on. Let's look up Hiroshi Hirata. I mean, the only footage of him is, like, from his interview. I guess there's also an ancient Japanese samurai named Hiroshi Hirata. Okay. He just looks like a middle-aged guy. He's, like, really boring looking. (laughs) All right, that's it for this episode. 